So for skin suturing, we're going to use uh, 3 nylon or potentially uh, some monocryl. As you can see here, my bite going into the skin is fairly far from my incision. It's at least three millimeters, four millimeters. And I wanna make sure I uh, have enough tissue between my incision and where my strand goes in so I can distribute that, that tension uh, nice and evenly. You see, I first started with a surgeon's throw and then I'm gonna let that knot sit down. And then here you can see a, a, a square knot after that that's gonna slowly start pulling in the knot until it basically kisses. And then there we go where we pull up both ends of the strands to let it sit sit down. I don't put any instruments underneath and then I follow it by about three or four throws and typically it's a surgeon's plus three. And you can see here, here's a, uh, that was just a interrupted. Now we're gonna go with a cruciate. Similar distance from the incision line. Notice I'm not grabbing the tissue, I'm just pushing it with my forcep. And then my bites uh, are going right across and we're gonna make this cruciate bite where my instrument doesn't need to go under my knot to make sure it doesn't get too tight. First is a surgeon, then a square, and then I'm going to slowly bring that little circle in, and then I'm going to bring up my two ends together, and it locks it, and then I'm going to follow by two more throws after that. And you can see here, that's how I want you guys to do your interrupteds and your cruciates.